YouTube, Chris from Hockey Tutorial here. Today we're going to be doing a quick review of the Green Biscuit Off-Ice Training Puck. So what this puck is, as it states, it's an off-ice training puck. There's a lot of different products you can use off the ice for training, stick handling and shooting and things like that, but this for stick handling is definitely the best one that I've come across and I'm pretty sure it's the best one that's around today. This is an excellent tool to use. Uh, the way the uh, puck is constructed is uh, two separate discs held together by three bolts as you can see over there. Uh, these three bolts also have um, rubber rings going around them along the center over there that you might be able to see just to stop these two discs from slapping against each other too hard. Now the movement that you can see between these um, two discs almost acts like a shock absorber so while the puck's sliding across rough surfaces it's able to stay completely flat which makes this the best training puck that you can use. So for more information about this puck visit Hockey Tutorial and to get your hands on it visit shop.hockeytutorial. We're going to show you quick examples of how this puck holds up in this car park and to compare it to some of the more traditional hockey pucks. So what I wanted to do in this clip over here was just show you a quick example of how efficient and uh, smoothly the green biscuit slides on the traditional ice hockey shooting pads which is this thing right here. I'm going to show you a quick friction test just to see how effectively it slides um, when compared to a standard traditional puck. We'll just try that one more time. All I'm going to do is just lift up the uh, ice hockey stick handling and shooting pad uh, just to give it a bit more um, of a steeper angle to see which puck slides quicker and more effectively. As you can see, the Green Biscuit puck always slides much quicker and more effectively than the traditional hockey puck. I'll just show you how both of them uh, work on the surface now, just uh, with a little bit of stick handling side to side. So what I'm going to do now is to show you a quick example of how the uh, Green Biscuit puck holds up on the surface that I'm on and how a traditional hockey puck holds up. Taking a quick look at the traditional hockey puck on this uh, rough uh, car park surface that I'm on right now. It's a um, standard cement or graveled car park. The hockey puck just flips over every time I try and stick handle with it, constantly rolling over, making it pretty much impossible to practice stick handling or any kind of practice off the ice, which is uh, quite frustrating as you can see. Now taking a quick look at the uh, Green Biscuit Puck, straight away you can see how this uh, slides very comfortably on the surface, very smoothly, it doesn't roll over, flip over at all. You're able to practice a, a complete range of stick handling, any direction, at any speed, which is really important to mention. You can practice um, just general stick handling, passing side to side, you can also practice your toe drags really great to see there. It's a really really good product to use off the ice. You can practice it as we said any speed. You can also pass long distances as you can see without it sliding at all. This is truly a revolutionary product for training at home and I would strongly recommend it to anyone looking to improve their stick handling. So the quick demonstration shows you that the standard uh, ice hockey pucks do slide very well on these shooting pads, but again, compared to the Green Biscuit, that slides much better. So I'd normally recommend using the Green Biscuit puck for practicing your stick handling and passing on any kind of surface, including the car park as we've demonstrated here for you today, while saving the traditional ice hockey pucks for practicing your shooting. That's just been a quick look at the two pucks. We'll have more videos uh, showing the Green Biscuit compared to a few of the other training products that you can use on the ice. Uh, traditional street parks and things like that. Those will be all featured on the website. So stay tuned and thanks for watching guys.